Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you how to use this select ion select in your ionic 5 app. So, ionic has ion select and ion select option components, which is used to select one or multiple values. So Ion select is used to group ion select options which can be presented to users. So let me put few options iron man. So when I reload the app, here uh, it looks like nothing but uh, you can see a little bit arrow here. When you click that arrow, you, these options will be presented. By default you can only select one of them. Okay, so to show the user to select something we can place a placeholder like Please select and we can wrap it around let me re reload it and see how it looks uh, or is missing sorry you can see now it is a little saying a little bit placeholder saying please select so now we can add an ion label to show like heroes and we can wrap this in ion item so it is we'll add some other css so it will be easy to look on everything so when i reload it you can see it, it added some css and in the label heroes here it is saying please select and I click here you can select one of them and to get the value user selected we have to specify the value for I and select options let me put it as I so to get to capture this value we need to attach a ng model to the ion select not to the option but to the select so let me put a variable name selected option just put it here so see easily selected option i'll go to here string and I will try to display what are the option user selected okay so there is select problem here I think that will reload the app yeah not reloaded so when I select something let me select hull you can see a small hash here is not that much displayable but if you see a bit hard you can see H here okay uh, to select a multiple options we can specify the option multiple as true then it will let us select multiple options now you can see it is checkbox instead of radio button so I can select 2 which is displaying IH here and here you can also see Iron Man and Hull I can even select all of them ITH so we can also add a click event to it uh, using a event ion change 
you can put it like option change and I'll declare the function here so we can display the select option in a alert as soon as you select and click OK see i and h is selected so if i remove the multiple equal to true now we can see only i is selected Uh, you can refer to the docs for more options. There are I and cancel and uh, and blur, and I and focus, events, and there are some other custom properties for the I and select also. Please do check them. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe for more videos.